Hello, my name is Travis Siegfried, and today I'm going to explain to you how to leverage the Power Virtual Server service. First, we're going to create a virtual instance, identify the OS, memory, etc., and connect to that server. First, we're going to go ahead and log in to the IBM Cloud by going to cloud.ibm.com. Next, once you see your dashboard, you'll select resources here to the left and on your resources tab you will see your virtual server service. Click on that and once it opens up you'll be able to create your instance on the right. After you click create instance here on the right you'll be served with all sorts of different credentials and things that you can put in. First you want to put in an instance name which you can name this whatever you'd like. Maybe you um, you have the option of putting an SSH key in. You have uh, your VM pinning selection. Selecting your OS, you have the option to do AIX, IBMI, or Linux. And creating or selecting your image. You can then go down and select the amount of cores that you would like to leverage and how much memory. And you click I agree and create instance. Once your instance is running, you will notice the active status here to the right and the green check mark. You're going to go ahead and enter that instance by clicking on the instance name that you've created, scrolling down to the bottom where the external IP address is, and this is what you're going to use to SSH into your instance. So you'll pull up a terminal server, simply do SSH root at, which is 150.238. .104.60. Upon initial entry, you'll notice that there is a password required. You can bypass this because you didn't create one yet. And that is how you leverage IBM Power Virtual Server Service to create a virtual instance, identify that operating system, and connect to it using a terminal or an SSH connection. Thank you for your time here today in this how-to video.